no, uh, I thought we was, were going to get away with that. It was that. so angelic, so wasn't it? And then Colin came right in there and just... No, I know. Beautiful it. stuff from the choir, though. Now, we're here in the kitchen with Jimmy Lee from Lighty Oriental, who's cooking our tea for a tenner. Just remind us what you're making tonight. Tonight, we're going to be making spicy, spicy Chung Hing Kompo chicken. OK. Double okay. spicy. Oh, I've got a lot of spices there. <laughs> yep. So, you've... Um, have you already fried off some of the chicken then? I fried off some of the chicken, left it to the side, and now we're going to start making the main part of it. I don't right. know, Jennifer, do you want to give a yeah, cooking let's do it. a go so this Yeah, the chicken's going in. Um, I was going to add some spices first, oh, so right. you okay. can just. Uh, That's a very you handle hot the walk, isn't it? It's a very hot walk, yeah. yeah. So, just so I'm going to add some watch. chili oil in it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to add some. Uh, yeah, just keep rolling about. I'm the furthest person <laughs> away, I'm still looking in like. Oh. I'm going to add some arms, garlic in it. Yep, the garlic's burning away in there. Okay. A wee bit of chilli, I mean, sorry, a wee bit of... Uh, Switching out from my dress here. <laughs> ginger in there. Just, it was quite hot, so just take it away oh. from the heat there a wee bit. Because you don't want to... Don't want to burn, burn it. it. You don't want to burn your, um, your garlic. What's that? Yes. Now, this is the stuff that numbs your mouth. Yeah, this is the mouth-numbing um, peppercorn. Yep, I'm going to okay. add a few bits of those in it. Don't put... Don't, 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 don't put too many A wee bit of chilli, another fresh chilli in there. Right. A bit of dry chilli in there. They're quite spicy as well, aren't yep. they? Yep. The cayenne pepper's going in there as well. Oh, yikes. Really yeah, spicy. It's a spicy thing. Yep. You can actually smell it now, and you're just going to bump. Chicken's the coming chicken in. Oh, oh. Yeah. That's quite strong. Yeah, it's quite strong. Uh, put it back over the, the thing, the the, the the hob, and we're going to put some uh, green red peppers in and some onions. Okay. You're quite at home there with that, Jen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very good in the kitchen, I just pretend I'm rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> just keep stirring away and I'm just going to get some okay. some of the Should soya I... sauce. Oh, so just keep stirring away there, Jennifer. OK. okay no problem. So this is to get the flavour in the chicken and in the vegetables? Yeah, just turn it around, turn it around. And then we've still got the sauce to make then? Um, there's no sauce, it's a dry one. This is what's, right, what's okay. different about this dish. It's actually a dry dish, there's no sauce to make in this one. Right. So I'm going to add a wee bit of okay. flavour, which is the light, the light soya sauce. Right. I'm going to add some dark soy sauce. It's just for a, an addition to flavour if you almost don't, you don't have all, enough already in there. <laughs> yep. A wee bit extra. <laughs> just a wee bit extra. Some chicken stock as well. Chicken okay. stock, so that's a powder form of... It's a powder form, yeah. Right. Just adds a wee bit more flavour so to it. So would that just be a stock cube then? Uh, it could just or... be powder stock you just get from any right, uh, local okay. supermarket. Okay. Um, and to give it a wee bit of tangy taste, I'm going to add some um, Chinese vinegar. Perfect. Right. Where is the best place to get Chinese vinegar? Is it something that you can now start to get in supermarkets a bit more, or is it more specialist shops? I think so, but I think you best go to the specialist shops, the specialist Chinese groceries. Um, I'm not sure if they sell it in the local supermarkets yet. So just okay. if you can't find it, just use normal vinegar. Okay. This one's a wee bit more acidic, so it okay. brings a more uh, flavour to it. And I'm just lastly, I'm going to add some um, oyster sauce to it as well, just a wee drop okay. of that. Not too much, though. Not too much, just right. a wee drop of it. So, okay. Quite a lot of supermarkets now are kind of extending their their Oriental food sections, yeah, the Indian that's right. food sections, aren't there? There's a lot more. Yeah, I've seen I've seen it them when I, products yeah, the when I was younger. Uh, when I was younger, I had to get a lot of stuff from the Chinese supermarkets. Right, yeah. yeah but now when I go into Tesco's, oh sorry, Tesco's not available. Tesco's not available. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's not available, of course. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, you can find these things there as well, so it's not a problem. Mm. And lastly, we're going to add in some uh, cashew nuts. Okay. There you go. Okay, why, why do, why does Kung Po have cashew nuts? Is it just, is why it just is for it? flavour? Is it to calm down the spice? What is it? Um, I think it was just, well, this uh, Kung Po chicken's an, a dish that dates back in to 1820s. Mm -hmm. It was over 200 years old. And at that time, of, uh, they actually had the, the peanuts in it as well. So right, okay. I'm, I'm not sure if it actually calms down the spice as such, but it's always been one of the ingredients gives that you have. Anyway. Yeah, it gives yeah. it a crunch anyway. Yeah, it gives it a crunch, yeah. So, um, I think how we're much ready. Are we good? Are we we're good to go. Right, we're, finished. Right. we're finished now. Perfect. And let's not forget, we've got a wee side dish here tonight of <laughs> jasmine rice. <laughs> jasmine rice. <laughs> That's right, the jasmine okay. rice. So I'm just going to serve up for you guys here. Perfect. Oops. A wee bit of escaping chicken there. Yep. OK. Let's go for this. We can just share out the one bowl, can't we, Jennifer? Yeah, we yeah. Can. let's try this, why okay? Not? Why not? Right, let's, let's go for do it. this. Let's go for it. Okay. Well, before you start, actually, um, I'm oh. going to give you a glass of. Oh, we're going to have to get stuck into we'll this. Go for that. <laughs> Jimmy, here we go. That big bit of chicken's mine, sorry. <laughs> See? Mmm. I like that. 
You don't oh, need... I can taste the kick. You don't need the milk? <laughs> We're okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, no Jimmy, thank you so <laughs> much. Delicious. Thank you very much for thank coming in tonight. Much. Now, coming up after the break, we learn more about the Creative Macintosh Festival, which runs across October, and how we can all get involved with Charles Rennie Macintosh Designs. Find out how next 